Hello, it's Michael Watts here, and in this video I wanted to have a short chat about acoustic guitars made from maple, like this one. If you've been following my channel for any length of time, and if you have, thank you very much, uh, you will not be unaware that I personally consider maple to be one of the finest woods for responsive finger-style acoustic guitars. I've been privileged to play some wonderful examples of maple guitars, uh, some going all the way back to the 1800s, others from the present day. And I can promise you that at no point while playing these instruments did I think this would be better if it was mahogany or Brazilian rosewood or coa or coca bolo or anything else. However, I have also played some disappointing guitars made from maple. I ascribe this to one fact, they were heavily built. Yes, 1996 series tailors, I am looking at you. You're not the only culprit. And to be fair, these guitars, when they were made, they were never designed as acoustic instruments, they were always meant to be plugged in stage guitars. I had a bit of an epiphany myself last week, which I wanted to share with you in this video. I took some time off and spent it in the Yorkshire Dales, a particularly beautiful part of the UK. While I was there, I managed to do some filming, took some pictures, and it was when I looked back at these pictures, I noticed that the sun was hitting the sound hole of this instrument. And you can see the results yourself. It's glowing. Look at that, and here's a closer shot. This instrument is made from quilted bird's eye maple on the back and sides, and as you can see, the light shining through it is really quite spectacular. This also goes to show just how lightly Jason Costell, who made this guitar, had thickness the back. Now with a Samoji style instrument, you'd expect to see a light back coupled with a light soundboard, and the whole structure is given strength by the use of laminated sides. In this case we have the maple, but with ebony on the inner sides. But even allowing for this light style of build, I thought it was remarkable to see what was going on when the light hit the guitar. Now obviously not all maple guitars are created equal. I've certainly played some instruments that have left me wanting more. However, I have played some beautiful maple guitars, not only by Jason Costell, but also by luthiers like Irvin Samoji, Linda Manza, and many more. And it's these positive experiences that mean I can recommend Maple to you as a wood for a fingerstyle guitar. Now I try my best to avoid sweeping generalizations here on this channel. Here's a big one, but it does have its foundations in personal experience. I have found that the character of a Maple guitar is often dictated by the grain of the wood used. At one end of the continuum, giving you a warm, almost fluffy kind of sound, is quilted maple, then flamed in the middle, going all the way up to bird's eye maple, which is much harder and uh, more reflective. A certain amount of this may be psychosomatic. I may just be looking at quilted maple and going, oh, isn't that squidgy? And uh, looking at bird's eye and going, oh, that's quite intense. But please do drop me a line and let me know what your personal experience has been. Another thing worth bearing in mind, I think, is that maple is the wood of choice for the orchestral violin family. I personally feel that speaks volumes, and although we are exciting the string in a different way, we're using our fingers, not a bow, I think that you can associate certainly some of the pizzicato elements uh, in cello and uh, contrabass playing when you pick up a maple guitar, even though it's fretted. That's an important point as well. The main point of this video, however, is to encourage you not to dismiss Maple if you are about to order, or indeed build, a custom guitar. To accompany this relentless diatribe on one of my favourite woods, I'm also uploading the performance video that I shot while I was in the Yorkshire Dales. It's a new piece, it's called Bird's Eye, and I really hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, if you found this video interesting, entertaining, or informative, please do subscribe to support my channel. Drop me a like and tell me what your experiences with Maple Guitars have been. Until next time, stay tuned.